Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, a scientist and innovator par excellence, an educator and leader like no other. Born on the 12th day of August in 1919 to Sarla Devi and Ambalal Sarabhai, he hailed from a lineage of industrialists deeply committed to the Indian independence movement. Vikram would soon develop a fervor for the sciences. After graduating from Gujarat College, he went on to pursue a post-graduation in the University of Cambridge. However, the Second World War would force him to return home. This turned out to be a blessing in disguise. His return saw him study under the tutelage of Sir C. B. Raman. Eventually, he would go back to Cambridge and return to India in 1947 with a PhD in cosmic rays, ready to foster a new era of growth and development. You know, one of the things he did, and I mentioned earlier that he left this behind into the organizing's DNA, was to motivate people from the point of view of what the end goal was. To make you feel that what you were doing was part of a larger whole which contributed something big. This led him to establish multiple institutes across sectors. Nineteen sixty two saw his first tryst with space. His track record in the sciences saw him appointed as chairman of the newly formed Indian National Committee on Space Research. As chairman, he oversaw the setting up of the Tumba Equatorial Launching Station in Trivandrum in 1963, a career highlight to this day. This was the base that launched India's first rocket into outer space. He knew that all the sounding rocket sites in Western countries were in the middle latitudes or near North Pole. There were no equatorial sites. And so he said Thumba would be an equatorial site which would be of great interest to international scientific community. 1966 saw him take on a new role, this time Chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission of India. His supervision resulted in the installation of a breeder reactor in Kalpakam, the formation of the Uranium Corporation of India, besides also advancing nuclear research for societal benefits. He brought a unique combination of, uh, of course, exceptional ability in uh, science along with an uh, industrial background. And this helped in particular to develop the uh, fast reactor program in uh, Kalpaka. He was very human, a great visionary, a great patriot, a great institution builder, but also a great man manager. His relentless drive to progress atomic research for human good would soon be noticed by the United Nations. He was subsequently nominated as the scientific chairman for the Committee on Atomic Research and Outer Space for peaceful purposes. Dr. Vikram also took it upon himself to educating the masses. And Dr. Sarabhai had picked up the idea from Gandhiji's basic idea that the development that we are looking for, economic development, the social development and all other things, will happen only through education. His belief that knowledge ought to be universal saw him enlist the services of NASA to bring direct-to-home television for the first time to the country. Particularly in a country like India where the large mass of people who have to be motivated are illiterate, it is very important to, I think, have the information uh, input um, as a a powerful technique like an audiovisual presentation through television uh, can be one of the most important uh, motivations, uh, a catalyst mm -hmm. for action. So that was a remarkable precursor to all that we are doing today with the communication satellites in the case of education, in the case of health, and of course doing communi communication for broadcasting, uh, for television programs and many other kinds of news and telephony, tele telegraph, everything that you think of in the today insights are being used in a big way. One of his final contributions to the country, one that cements his place in our history, is the setting up of the Satish Dhawan Space Centre, 
a state-of-the-art spaceport on the island of Sri Harikota. This remains the most defining contribution to India's space exploration program. It is not the space program itself, but the way the space program has been built, which is, which is important, of how generation after generation of, of people take on that leadership. His immense contributions saw him earn the Padma Bhushan in 1966 and Padma Vibhushan posthumously in 1972. Today, he is renowned and celebrated by the country that continues to be inspired by his brilliance. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the man who paved the way for India's phenomenal growth story. Truly, a man ahead of his times. डॉक्टर विक्रम साराभाई का ये सपना था कि भारत का अपने बलबूते पर विकास हो और उसका लाभ प्रत्येक नागरिक तक पहुंचे। You know, India has half a million villages, and if we want to really uh, create the counter forces to urbanisation, which everybody agrees has its own great problems, if we want to see that some of our best people continue and can men have a meaningful, qualitatively rich experience, even if they are in villages. Then we can use these new techniques mm -hmm. to bridge that uh, information gap, that contact with the wider sphere in the world. Mm -hmm. And Ambala Sarabhai named him Vikram. Little did anyone know that this prestigious son of theirs would give so much to the nation in a short lifespan. After earning a PhD, he came back to India in 1947 with much widened horizon and tremendous zeal for nation building. He strongly believed that it was science and technology alone which could solve the real problems of the common man of India. Uh, opinion. The aspect of space research which I would like to stress most is in relation to the national capability, the self-confidence that this will generate. Easter Sarabhai became the chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission. Meanwhile, Dr. Sarabhai and team operationalized Sri Harikota Range, Shar, on October 9, 1971, with flight of Rohini 125 rocket, which later came to be known as Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar. Today, it is a world-famous spaceport. <laughs> 